Now we have another final from over in Asia, Cuba and Japan. That game is over from the Tokyo Dome, and we've got some highlights for you. Pick this one up in the fifth. It's 2-1 Japan when Hayata Sakamoto is at the plate and paints one down the line. That brings home a run, and it's a 3-1 Japan lead. Later in the inning, Nobuhiro Matsuda. He already has two hits. Make it three. Adios. Sayonara. Doesn't matter the language. It is goodbye and gone. As Matsuyama would finish with a four for five day. Three runs, four ribbies. Five runs scored by Japan in the fifth. That was the difference as the Japanese rolled to an 11-6 victory in this one over Cuba. It almost looked like Cubs, didn't it? When you're looking at the box score, <laughs> you see you see the C there? Uh, I'm okay with Japan beating the Cubs, too. Whether it's uh, either way, uh, Japan there with the big win over Cuba. And uh, Cuba, it's, it's unfortunate for them because just even in the last year, they've lost so many talented players that have gone and they've defected. And if you, if you had put this team together from the actual team that maybe even, say, like three, three years ago, uh, it, would be, it would be a force yeah. on the World Baseball Classic. They were really looking to make a name I mean, I understand size. why those players left. My point is just that if they had played together here. And, I, and, and we've heard before how some of the Cuban defectors have, have felt, you know, they felt a little, uh, uh, some emotions mm -hmm. watching the World Baseball Classic and seeing that their countrymen, teammates, kids that they grew up with now representing their homeland and, and they're not a part of it. While they're doing well in America, playing in Major League Baseball, there's also a part of them they still have. They still have a foot back in their homeland. Yeah, absolutely. 